In less than two months, there's been 10 recalls of shrimp that have tested positive for radioactive cesium-137. We have a better idea now of why it happened. The shrimp came from one company in Indonesia. Two miles from the shrimp facility is a steel plant. It's here where they smelted scrap metal to manufacture steel. The problem is that scrap was contaminated with radioactive cesium-137. The radioactive dust from the smelting created a cesium-137 plume all over the entire island, settling onto a shrimp processing facility not even two miles away. How did that scrap get cesium? In 1987 Brazil, 50 people were accidentally exposed to a scavenged medical radiation source of cesium-137. This was a radiation machine typically used for cancer. And this was started by two guys who were looking for scrap metal. So a salvaged hospital radiation machine likely got turned into scrap metal and somehow ended up in Indonesia near a shrimp processing facility and onto Walmart shelves in America. No one's been known to have eaten the radioactive shrimp yet. They did a good job of trying to get the word out. But what happens if you do? No, you're not going to look like Alien, especially one that's on 3i Atlas right now. You actually won't even notice it at first. Radiation sickness takes some time to appear. In high doses, it can look like burns. It develops over days. If you ate it, your teeth could fall out, your jaw could fall off, and you're in big trouble if these things happen. There's nothing that you can do about it. But the shrimp didn't have enough cesium to do that. What it would do is damage your DNA. That'll increase your risk of cancer. And it'll be something that will happen months to years later, so you might not even know that it was happening at all. We're not out of the woods yet, so please keep your eye out on the frozen shrimp.